Toyota is going where the Japanese automaker has never gone before. It's bringing out a futuristic little crossover, the Coupe High Rider, or CHR. Just like the Prius Hybrid, the small SUV is based on Toyota's new global architecture platform, or TNGA for short. Though CHR's roots are to be found in Japan, the model is assembled in Turkey. The vehicle was designed entirely with the European market in mind. Its design is intended to polarize and create a trend-setting style in the highly competitive crossover segment, as our car tester Emmanuel Schaefer explains. Toyota hopes the CHR will help it position itself in the crossover segment. That makes sense as most car makers have such models. He thinks the car looks very futuristic. The rear lights, in particular, remind him of the Honda Civic. Both look like they've rolled straight out of a sci-fi film. So he says, beam me up, CHR. CHR, beam mich rein. Shame it's not that easy in real life, but Emmanuel says that's not so bad. Cars would become superfluous if we could just beam ourselves everywhere. The crossover's cockpit does look a little like a spaceship, though. The raised 8-inch touchscreen is angled slightly towards the driver to maximize visibility. In addition to its innovative interior, the car's name is also a departure. Emmanuel says many brands, vehicles, all have similar names. That's certainly the case with Toyota. Think of Aurus, Avensis, Igo, and the like. During the development of the CHR, this became a subject of discussion at Toyota. Some said it needed to have a name like the others. Others said that wouldn't do the crossover justice. They finally agreed on CHR, or Coupe High Rider. The name explains the vehicle's mix of coupe-like body with a high seating position and increased ground clearance typical of SUVs. Our test car is powered by a 1.2-liter turbo with an output of 85 kilowatts. The CHR is the first car Toyota has fitted with its intelligent manual transmission. When downshifting, the system automatically increases RPM to ensure a smooth gear change. The system also makes for smooth starts, which reduces the risk of stalling. That's especially helpful for beginner drivers. Emmanuel is pleasantly surprised by how the car drives. Though the body's quite high, there's relatively little roll. Like the Prius, the SUV is based on the TNGA platform, and the engineers have done a lot of tinkering to ensure the center of gravity is comparatively low, so it drives quite well, especially on curves. Emmanuel says the CHR has a base price of just under 22,000 euros, and it wouldn't be a Toyota if it wasn't available as a hybrid, too. And it's this version that's most important in Toyota's eyes. They expect 70% of all CHRs sold will have hybrid drive. 